PG&E is paying up. PG&E will not face a criminal trial for its role in starting last year's massive Dixie Fire and the 2019 Kincaid Fire in Sonoma County. Instead, the utility has reached a settlement with the counties and will pay $55 million, $20 million of which will go to Sonoma County. But as Crown Force Dan Kerman reports, not a single penny will help fire victims rebuild their homes. PG&E will not go to court to face criminal charges for their role in 2019's 77,000-acre Kincaid fire. Sonoma County and the utility have reached a settlement where PG&E will pay $20 million. I think that it's a real win for Sonoma County. The money will go to a variety of nonprofits as well as cover civil penalties and reimburse the DA's office. One group that will not see a dime, though, are the actual fire victims. Absolutely zero. Yeah, it has no effect on on the victims. Cheryl LaFranchi owns the Oak Ridge Angus Cattle Ranch in Knights Valley. Basically burnt down um, five houses, eight barns, um, pretty much decimated the, the one the headquarters of the ranch and all the facilities there. She, like hundreds of others that lost their homes, will only see money if they win their civil lawsuits against PG&E, and that could take a couple of more years. I think they hope to outweigh you, you know, and pretty quick you just give up, but... You don't plan to give up? Nope, nope, they've got me in kind of a bad mood. As part of the settlement agreement of the criminal case, PG&E will be subject to five years of oversight by Sonoma County. There will be an independent monitor and that they will have to meet certain benchmarks. And if they fail, then further action is warranted. So I think that's the most important thing that we accomplished here today. But attorney Mike Danko, who represents wildfire victims across California, is not optimistic that will make a difference. All the time that PG&E was uh, under probation, felony probation, uh, in connection um, with the, the San Bruno fire, and they just finished serving their probation, there was a federal monitor watching everything that PG&E did. And during that time, while the federal monitor was uh, watching PG&E, uh, we had the Kincaid fire, the Lafayette fire, the Zod fire, and the Dixie fire. So, Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News. As Dan mentioned,